again. Amen. And if you truly desire God to have his way with you today, why don't you say amen again? Amen. amen. It's good to be in the house of prayer once again. Amen. I'm thankful to God that He is yet having mercy on us. Amen. Regardless of how we act sometimes. God is still yet so merciful that He has given us another opportunity to make it right with our soul. I don't know about you, but when I think about how I could have been cut off in yeah. my sin, yeah. Yeah. I'm so thankful that God spared me because had he cut me off a long time ago, then in hell I would have lifted up my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so thankful. That he saw fit to leave me here for a little while. Amen. Thank you. And that little while gave me a chance yeah. to get to know Jesus. Yeah. And for that, I don't take it lightly. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come now with bowed heads and humble hearts, acknowledging that we need you. We come, Lord, acknowledging that without you, we can't do nothing. Here we are, Father, giving you full permission to have your way. Let your spirit roam throughout this place. Let it hover over this house. Let him touch each and every individual. Let them experience the freedom that there is in the Lord. Teach us right now, Master. And as you teach, give us a listening ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto us. We give you glory ahead of time. We praise you ahead of time for what you are about to do in this place. Grant us, Master, a worship experience. That you may be in full control. Yeah. Help us, Lord, to follow wherever you lead. And we'll be forever careful, Master, to give the credit and the honor unto you. For you deserve it all. I ask now that you will let the words of my mouth 
and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, I declare you to be my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go with us to the book of Jonah. Jonah chapter 1, verse 17 through chapter 2, verse 1. Jonah chapter 1, verse 17 through chapter 2. Verse 1. When you found it, say amen. Jonah chapter 1, verse 17 through chapter 2. Verse 1. When you found it, say amen. Amen. Let us all read together at this time. Now the Lord has prepared a great fish to follow up to and come up in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Then I'm praying unto the Lord his God out of the fish in hell. Amen. Amen. The Lord has prepared a great fish. Amen. To swallow the book jump. Today we want to preach from the text, God's prepared situations. God's prepared situations. We are often reminded of the scripture in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, where the Lord says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. This lets us know that whatever God has prepared for us in our future, we can count on it working out in our faith. Amen. Isn't that good to know? Amen. Isn't it good to know that even while I'm in the belly of that thing, while that thing has been wrapped up and tied up on every side, while it has me looking at the dark situation in my life, I tell you, it's good to know that I can still count on the Lord to work it out for my good. Amen. Do I have a witness? Amen. Look, look, although you can count on him working it out for your good, you need to know that for your good has nothing to do with how good that thing is to you. Amen. How many know the devil will want you to believe that in order for that thing to work out for your good, it ought to be good to you? Amen. Is there anybody here that can remember having a situation that was not good to you, but you can truly say it worked out for your good? Amen. You didn't like what it looked like. You didn't like how it tasted to you. But when you look back on that thing, you can clearly see that God worked it out for your good. Somebody in here free now because God allowed you to be not good.
But it worked out for you good. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, not only does it for your good not having to do anything to do with how good it is to you, yeah. but for your good, listen, don't even mean you got to like it. Yeah. 